if you want to lose weight easily, you must add cardio to a healthy meal plan. You already know that I love a carnivore diet because it is a sober meal plan. It has zero addiction potential, no carbs, nothing addictive there. And so it gives you the food freedom that everybody's looking for in all the wrong places. But you also want to add some cardio. Now, what is a target cardio heart rate that you want to shoot for in order to make sure that you are constantly progressing with your fitness regimen and increasing the intensity of your cardio over time so i don't like to use the target heart rate as a measure or something to track instead i like to count the uncomfortable minutes during that cardio workout why because as you get fitter over time, the same workout is not going to lead to much elevation in your heart rate. And so if you keep repeating the same workout, you're not really progressing, right? And also you lose a way to measure your progress. So you might be progressing a lot, but your heart rate really isn't going up that much. And that's a good thing. This is what becoming fit is, right? We want that. We want our heart rate not to freak out when we are doing intense workouts. So forget about raising or looking at your target heart rate. We do want an elevated heart rate. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for progressively more intense cardio, but you don't want to track that. Instead, what you want to track is the minutes of discomfort during your cardio regimen. And so what I recommend, what I personally do, right, what I recommend to all of my one-on-one -on -one and group coaching clients is create an Excel sheet. One, should, one column should have the date. The other one should have number of minutes of extreme discomfort. And then another column that says number of minutes of moderate discomfort. And so what I generally do when I start my cardio. I prefer a, a running regimen. I have my own treadmill here in my office and I'm just obsessed with it and it makes me very happy. <laughs> so what I do, I first start with very, very intense minutes. I usually can do that for 11 minutes and then I'm about to die. <laughs> so then I start walking and I write down 11 minutes and week by week, I try to push those number of very intense minutes to 12 minutes a shot, 13 minutes, you know, that's the goal to keep progressing. So I jump on the treadmill, I do my 11 minutes and then I really just cannot, and then I, I, I cannot progress, I cannot keep going. So then I just start walking until I cool down a little bit and then I do it again. I do another 11 minutes. Sometimes I can't even do that. Also, I'll just do seven minutes, whatever I can manage. And then I walk. And now I still want to get some more miles under my belt because it's, you know, just having, let's say, you know, 11 minutes and like five minutes, it's really not a lot of time under tension for the goals that I have for myself. And so instead of stopping my workout, I now allow myself to train hard, but not crazy hard where I would feel like I'm dying. And so those are the number of moderate intensity um, minutes. And so now I can do that for 15 minutes and then I walk a little bit and then I do another one set of those for let's say 17 minutes, depending on my recovery, depending on so many things. But it's always about hitting those uncomfortable minutes because that is the only time you're actually progressing with your fitness, with dopamine building. You know, I talk a lot about fixing that dopamine deficit that everybody has and gets them addicted and gives them cravings and that's why they can't stick to any diet right and so that is what i do that's what i recommend for everybody to do and you will be shocked at all of the benefits that you gain from that it's not just about weight loss or just heart health because we know that if you do cardio and you improve the fitness of your heart and muscle then your risk for heart disease drops dramatically. So you get all those benefits and so much more you raise, because when we raise dopamine levels, we don't have depression, we don't have anxiety, we don't have cravings, we don't have cramps anymore. I just filmed also a video today about how I no longer have cramps, zero, on my first day of the cycle, which is unheard of in my <laughs> All my years that I've been getting my cycle, I would be gone completely non-functional on that first day. And now I don't have cramps anymore. I don't even have to take a mitol pill. I mean, that's, that's mind blowing to me. All of that is because of my training this way with cardio by counting the number of uncomfortable moments 
four minutes, I have increased my pain threshold. So I want to teach you and help you do the same. So if you are interested in that, first watch a video that I filmed on how exercise raises D2 receptors and dopamine or baseline dopamine levels. I'm going to link it in the description below. And also check out my group coaching. We're meeting on Sundays at 9 a.m. Eastern and on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Eastern. It is $49 a month if you want to join just one weekly session. And so that ends up being four to five um, sessions a month. And then the $99 um, package gives you access to all of the sessions. So, so then you get eight or 10 um, sessions a month, depending different, every month is different. You also get the recordings of all of our previous Zoom sessions. So there's a wealth of information and you get to ask me your questions directly to me. So it's, it's almost like one-on-one -on -one coaching. So um, check that out. Send me an email at drsarahzaldivar at gmail.com if you want to move forward. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. And subscribe and hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.